Welcome to this little short video that I'm going to squeeze in because I'm still on my beloved vacation. And I'm going to talk a little about Modulo in this one, and I'll be back with more videos after the summer. So let's get started. All right, let's talk a little about Modulo. And Modulo is widely used in programming, and it can be very handy to know about this. And I know that it also can be very confusing, so that's why I wanted to create this little video. Modulo is something that will give you the rest when you divide two numbers. For example, if we have 15, modulo 4, and it's uh, typed out like this, you have the percentage. So you have 15, percentage 4 will give us 3, as you can see here. So this means that we can add up 4 3 times in the range of 15 before it exceeds that range. So 4 times 3 will be 12, but if we add up 4 one more time, it will be 16, and that means that we'll exceed 15. 12 is the maximum that we can have. So 4 times 3 is 12, and that means that we still have 3 left, and 3 will be the answer here. 15 modulo 4 will be 3, because the rest is 3, and modulo doesn't take into account the, the decimals, so we always have whole integers. And we can try another example, 10 modulo 3. And this will give us 1, and that is because we can add up 3 3 times before we exceed 10. 3 plus 3 plus 3 will be 9, meaning that we have 1 as a remainder. But if we add up 3 4 times, that will be 12. And that means that we've exceeded this one here. That won't work, so that's why modulo is 1. And we can actually have another example that I think will explain this a little bit more clear. For example, a 12-hour clock, if we want to convert 24 hours to a 12-hour clock, a 12-hour clock is always just 12 hours, so it will turn around and then it will start again at 12. But let's say that we have uh, a 24-hour time and uh, the time is 15. That means that it's uh, 3 p.m. So if we have 15 and a 12-hour clock is always modulo 12, so we have modulo 12, and it will give us 3, as you can see here. So that's how a clock works also. You're actually thinking in modular terms when looking at the 12-hour clock without even knowing about it. So that's pretty cool, actually. We can all also try this with another number. Let's say it's uh, 22. Uh, that means that it's uh, 10 p.m. And it will give us 10. So a 12-hour clock is always modular 12. 12 will only fit once inside of the range up to 22. Because if we add up 12 one more time, we'll get 24, so that's no good. So that's why we have 10, 12 plus 10 is 22. So modulo is kind of a shorthand for another expression that you can use if you don't have access to modulo, but you probably will have. But if you, for example, ask for something like this in an interview or something where they want you to do a modulo operation without using modulo, we can take this clock example here, for example, let's say that it's 15 minus parenthesis. We're going to math floor. We have 15 and we divide it with 12. That's 12 hours in the clock. And then we multiply it with 12. So this expression here can be used instead of modulo and it will give you the exact same answer. So what we're doing here is that we first divide 15 by 12. 15 divided by 12, that will give us 1.25, but we don't care about decimals when we're using modulo, so that's no good. So we have to math.floor, and this will give us 1, because if we round this down, it will remove the decimals, so then we have 1, and then we multiply this by 12, and it will give us 12. We have 12, and we have 15 minus 12, it will give us 3. So this is another expression instead of using modulo. And it can be good to know this um, kind of in your back head, so to know that modulo is actually just a shorthand for something like this. Uh, for example, a slider that will go round and round and round. And you know when you're at the last slide and then you click next, it will go back to the first one. You can probably use uh, something like modulo for that. So there's a lot of use cases to use modulo when you code. And this was just a short little video now because I'm still on my vacation and I'm going to be back after the summer and have more videos for you there on my channel. So, see you in another one.